Hey, it's Ben from dscout. In this video, I'm going to outline an approach for analysis that is both flexible for a wide variety of research timelines and is well suited for mixed data sources, such as when you have closed ended, open ended, or even rich media data. Throughout, I'm going to be using dscout express, which is a quick turn feedback tool and specifically a project that I ran recently to ask folks how they're defining and maintaining balance in their lives. So let's get started. I usually start with the closed ended responses. I find that they guardrail and focus me when I set about analyzing the open ended data, which can be more complex and thematically nuanced. Now with dscout, I can click this closed ended responses button and have a frequency distribution of those questions where a participant was asked to select a response. For example, in question eight, I asked which of the following tactics to achieve or maintain balance have you used? And so I can sort from least greatest to least and I can find that overall over 40% of folks said that they meditated, prayed or engaged in quiet contemplation. Now I can click this button right here and export that and drop it into a deck, which I certainly will. But this lets me know that that is the number one overall um, tactic that folks, folks reported. It also lets me go back to the full entries. And if you look on the left hand side, I can filter by that same closed ended question. So I'll go back down to question eight and I'll select meditation because I know it's the most reported strategy. And so I go from over 100 entries or pieces of data to 47. And then when I dig in to an individual moment, as I'm doing here with Lorenzo, I have a sense of what I'm looking for, or at least what I'm curious about specifically, that is how folks are using meditation. And so dscout offers automatic transcription for all of its videos. And so I can see here that he writes decompressing from time to time to do exercise. So even further, more, more specific from Lorenzo, it's quiet exercise. So I may highlight that. You can see on the right hand side, it's made a highlight. And then I might take a note to write exercise specifically for a colleague. And the closed ended responses have allowed me to whittle down 50% of the responses right off the bat to the most reported theme from the closed ended responses. But it gets me started more quickly with the open ended ones. Now we can actually use the same principle of top line frequencies for our, some of our open ended questions like we do with our closed ended questions. This open word bubble here takes us to the open ended responses analysis section where I can select any open ended question, including the video prompt and be able to pull frequencies for that question. So I can go to the defining balance question, question four, and I can pull open a word bubble chart. Now I know word bubbles can be hit or miss, but again, I'm trying to get a gut check sense on what's happening in the data. I'm not yet ready to make definitive recommendations or conclusions, but these sorts of charts help me get a sense of what the data might be telling me. So time is rated here. Uh, work, we, we saw that work in the closed ended questions was something that was rated quite a bit. And what I can do is I can actually filter by one of these specific words and then have a look at the responses wherein that word was mentioned. So again, I'm not yet doing my inductive or grounded theoretical analysis. I'm not there yet. All of this is helping me get a sense of what's going on with the data. So I can go in now and I can click to any of these particular moments. For example, Jessica walking me through how time changed, going back and forth between pouring into my children and taking time for myself. So again, I'm not saying that this is the final determination on how time plays out, but that's something that I wanted to note. And so you're repeating this process with the open ended data and you're really getting a good sense of what the framework, what might be happening in the data. Now that we have some sense of what the data are telling us at a high level by using those closed and open ended frequencies, we can begin to dig into the coding and tagging of the open ended data that really represents a hallmark of qualitative analysis. Now, I like to think of tags in two ways. The first is a descriptive tag wherein you are, as the name suggests, describing an objective criterion or a thing that exists in the moment. 
So if you look on the right hand side, I'll click into my tags menu, which shows me the various groups of tags I can create, and then the individual tags below them. And I have a tag called location, which is, as it would suggest, just describes the part of a, pl a person's world where they said they seek balance. Now, this person appears to be showing me their home, so I would tag inside home. We often program questions before we launch that relate directly to a descriptive tag. The other kind of tag is a thematic tag, which is represented by this balance as tag group. Now, thematic tags often require multiple questions to be consulted concurrently, sort of making sense of what's going on in the moment to represent some higher order goal. So here I want to know, for example, how are people thinking about and applying balance? You can see I have tag examples. Is it an action? Is balance getting away from the home office and doing a thing? Or is balance a mindset? I'm putting myself cognitively in a place. And it might be both. And so I can select both of those if, if this moment were to um, relate in that way. Now, you would then go through after you finalize your tag list and apply that tag, whether it's descriptive or thematic, to all of the moments. And the big benefit there is that, once again, you're able to filter down by the tags you've created. And so, say you've got a great framework to describe balance and how it's being enacted and whether or not your service or experience is part of that enactment, you can filter by the individual tags and then find photos, videos, or pull quotes to support your recommendations around the quantitative, hey, this percentage of people are saying that they use this for balance, and here is an example of a person doing that. It's a great combination of top-level quant with that qual that explains the why and the how. It's a great mix. The last part of this approach is to really drive home your recommendations by foregrounding the humans from which they're derived. In short, creating compelling, open-ended presentations that really bolster and support the quantitative top-line findings you're presenting. And I like to do that by using the videos that we can collect in dscout. This section here is called the Playlist Builder. Now, each person who submitted a set of answers to this mission submitted a video as part of it. And so I can actually select any of the videos, which I can filter by either tags that I've created, demographic variables, or the questions, as I showed you earlier, and I can add them to a playlist. Now, here's a playlist that I have going called My Place of Balance. And as you can see, on the left-hand side, all of my videos are oriented vertically, and I can rearrange them. I can also, within an individual video, trim by the transcript so I can get right to that quote that drives home my recommendation or supports the pain point that I want to highlight to my teams. After I've got the order and the transcript just so, I can render it, that is, save the order of it, export it, and drop it into a deck. It's a really great way to drive home the recommendations that I'm making. It's a sort of, don't take it from me, take it from our users. I hope that this analysis approach will help you feel more confident when you start your next open-ended, closed-ended, or even mixed data analysis session. If you'd like to take a look at this project and play with some of these features for yourself, check out the URL on your screen. I'm Ben from dscout. Thank you so very much for your time. We'll see you again soon.